Good morning everybody and welcome to my vlog and welcome to A Guy in His Zero, episode four. This is what we came here for. Okay, so we left off yesterday. We carried three over. Oh, it's August 11th, by the way. Thursday, August 11th. We got today and we got tomorrow to get through, to get to the weekend, to get some well-deserved rest. Uh, but. What happened yesterday, uh, where we ended, we ended carrying three lawns over into today. Now today is a big day because of the yards that I have, but it's a small quantity day. So it's it's um, a very dense route, um, mostly up in in, in uh, one area behind the home de uh, behind the lows up there in Pooler. So any local guys know where I'm talking about up there. Um, most of my work is up there, um, and then but we got one that's down here. Uh, that's the Mercedes guy where old boy hit the Mercedes with the edger. Oh my god. I could have killed him If you guys didn't see that go back uh, probably about six or six or eight weeks ago and I have a video entitled uh, Sorry, sorry. I hit your Mercedes uh, Go back and watch that and watch how we handled it. You can watch that one You can watch the next day and see how we handled the old boy put the edger blade right into the fender um I mean, he bounced that thing right off of the fender of a Mercedes, uh, like a SL500 or something like that. Oh, custom rims. Oh, my God. Yeah, we got that one uh, when we come back down. And then we got the three, the three that we didn't do uh, yesterday because I was just so ill. I was just feeling so bad, so run down, so tired. I got uh, a whole bunch of stuff from Kroger, a bunch of Gatorades and Powerades and stuff they have on sale right now and uh, some more water and I loaded up my cooler so I'm good to go for the next like two weeks. Last night was one of the first nights I was able to like actually sleep through the night and wake up. I wake up on my own 6 30, 6 35. That's that's my normal wake up time. I don't use an alarm. So that was great. Um, I got up and uh, here we go. So I feel pretty good and it's pretty important we get these 11 yards done and not carry any over and that's going to put us at um, let me see, that's 10, that's 10, that's 20, that's 32. So that'll put us at 43. Yeah, that'll put us at 43 yards uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then we have <coughs> 1, 2, 3, and 9. So we have 12 to do tomorrow. So that'll put us at 55 yards. So yeah, that'll put us at 55 yards for the week. That's what we got going on today. 11 yards up the pooler. Uh, 7 up here one down by uh, the Berwick area and then I swing into the area by my house and I do the three that we didn't do yesterday that's how we'll close out our day we got to go home and let the dogs out at some point but it'll be after we do these eight um, once or seven once we get done with these seven it'll be like around 12 30 ish uh, one o'clock maybe I don't know and then uh, we'll head on down there and we'll get the we'll get the dogs let out and uh, we'll knock that out and have a very great productive day set us up for an awesome 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 stress-free Friday and uh, go into an amazing weekend so uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll fire fire up some mowing vids okay one more done for the week one done today ten more to go I did this yard <clears throat> they're doing sod over there <clears throat> I did this yard two weeks ago and these rock beds were just full of weeds. Terrible. Uh, and so she asked me, this is a new account, so she asked me if I can do something. I sprayed the hell out of them. I mean, they are gone. Dried up, crispy, and gone. So that's good. Um, so there's another one down for the day. Another one down for the week. So we are outie. So the four houses that I'm doing right here, that was one earlier, two just now, and now three and four right next door to each other, um, are all within like a quarter mile of each other. So that's it. In fact, you could probably stand on the roof of this house and as the bird flies, if you threw a rock, you'd probably be able to hit the houses I just did. Um, pretty neat. And I love it like that. And then, um, then we got three in another area that are all real close to each other. So the first seven today is gonna go by pretty, pretty quick. And this one, oh boy, pine straw. So I'll show you the end result here. Uh, we did the pine straw two weeks ago here. Um, 
So he did that and so we'll get these mowed up real fast um, and that'll be four done. That'll leave seven for the day and we're in really good shape. It's 930. All right, so I just finished up and this, um, this one here with the flag, she always pays me right away. I knocked on the door and she's so appreciative. Oh, we love the look when you're done. Oh, there we go. And then here's the straw job. Uh, yeah. Straw. That's straw. And the yards. Let me show you guys these backyards. So we got four done. It's about 1030. Um, 1025, I think. Let me do a quick video here. Are you looking for your dog? The cat. The cat was scared. Oh, yeah, the cat hauled butt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see her. She's right there. Oh, it's okay. Good. She's right She'll there. Work her way back. Yeah, once I leave, yeah. I see you. That's right. Little cat hiding right there. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say hi to about 3,000 people that love your yard? No. Okay. <laughs> I love this yard. Yeah, her cat was underneath the grill and hauled ass. Alright, I'll get out of here. She'll come back. Take care. But let's get out of here. That's four done. Little interaction with the customer. I feel pretty good so far. We gotta try to keep the pace up. I'll try to stay motivated today. Not let this little sickness get to me. Get done with our day. Four done, seven to go. We can do this. Alright, I'm going to try to give you guys a new camera angle at this yard that you guys have watched me mow a few times already. Uh, but we're going to try to go about it a different way. So, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out.
I can't tell you why I did the route that I did. I just wanted to do something different and see how it would look on camera from a, a higher angle. So hopefully that came out okay. I'm going to go mow the backyard. And then uh, I'm going to mow the backyard, edge weedy, and we're going to pick this video up. We'll pick up some more mowing here in just a minute. I don't know if I ever showed you guys the backyard. Now she goes through and picks up the pine cones out of the um, the beds. I don't I don't do that. I just get the stuff that my mower is going to hit, tree limbs, anything like that. Um, but doing the beds and stuff like that, mm -mm, I'd be here all day long, and that would be an expensive cost for her, and she don't want to pay that. So her and her husband do that stuff. Um, but yeah, there you go. Let's go do another one. That'll be hump lawn. All right, guys, that's hump lawn. <clears throat> hump lawn is uh, the lawn that gets you over the top. It's Wednesday, basically. It's Wednesday's lawn. So uh, we have uh, 11 to do today, so this one's six. So six down, five to go. So that makes that hump lawn. I am uh, headed over here to do my once a weeker right now. We're going to do the once a week lawn. Once we get done with the once a weeker, it's 106 right now. Um... We're gonna hit those hedges, those bushes real quick and shape them up. And then we're gonna leave this area before the rain comes. It is circling. So we got one once a week or to do, then we're gonna trim those bushes up really, really, really fast. And then we're gonna haul Boogie uh, down, let my dogs out. And then we got the Mercedes guy and we got the group of three that we didn't do from yesterday. So that'll be four fairly easy yards. I'd like to be on those yards by 2.30 starting those, those yards. Um, that'll make for about a 4.30, 5 o'clock day. And we will be, uh, we'll be keeping pace with where me and old boy were on Friday of two weeks ago this week. All right, guys, this one's done. I got to get out of here. This lightning is so bad. It's like flash, boom. It was right on me. I didn't even blow off the back or the, the, the finish, the yard, I mean. I knocked on the door and she was like, yeah, you're good. Get out of here. <sighs> Uh, in that situation, guys, is a really good learning point for y'all. Uh, you know you're probably not going to be able to finish your job. So what do you do? Try your best to um, do the front porch, back porch, and buy their cars. Try your best to do that. Let the rest wash away from the rain. Uh, but look at this storm coming. And I mean, the lightning is crazy. So see the stuff here on the sidewalk and right here? She's like, yeah, you're good. I'm like, I ain't messing with it. That'll blow away. But I'm gonna go check these hedges here. Um, dang it. I gotta get this hedges done. So these are the bushes that they need trimmed. So uh, let's do it.
my goodness. I do not like lightning, guys. Holy cow. Let me get my stand. And here's the rain. Where I grew up in South Florida, lightning used to pick off the lawn guys, man. It seemed like every week a lawn guy was getting killed standing by his trailer, loading up or unloading his equipment. The lightning would come and get him, man. I do not like lightning. Let's get out of here. guys uh, the storm blew over we look pretty okay for a while now so let's go to work it's three o'clock 256 um, in the downtime we lost about I don't know 45 minutes I guess in that time I did yesterday's invoicing because I didn't do it last night so I invoiced the customers I serviced yesterday I downloaded this camera onto my computer and got those files transferred over so that'll make it faster when I get home for the rest of these files uh, to go up so that'll save me a little bit of time <clears throat> and I printed page two of today's route I forgot to print page two um, I don't know what happened <coughs> um, and answered an email so we're okay um, we got four to do it's three o'clock uh, we could do the group of three we're gonna go do the single one by itself right now and struggle through that soaking wet nasty yard and make sure that that's not another storm coming so I don't get caught with in the middle of three yards. Um, but we should be okay, we should be able to get through them. I mean, if I gotta work till six, I'll work till six. I still haven't worked past, what, four o'clock this week, 4.30? So, I mean, it hasn't been, it hasn't been very long. Um, I owe us an hour from yesterday. Yesterday I only worked till four, but two weeks ago when we did yesterday's route, we worked till five. So if I was gonna work till five today, then I'm okay to work till six and make it up. I still have, like from coughing, uh, hurts in here, like right here, like my heart, but it's not my heart, it's my muscles. I feel it when I push, I can feel my muscles. It hurts, uh, it's from straining, from coughing so damn much. But, uh, whatever. I read some of y'all's comments. I appreciate it, man. And Frankie Gambino, uh, you're right. I probably do need a real strong antibiotic. So, I don't know. Maybe I, tomorrow or after work or something, I'll hit the minute clinic or something. See if she can't write me a prescription. Uh, but let's go ahead and knock out another yard and let's see what we can get done today. I wonder if that shows, but can you see the layers of that cloud? That big white puffy cloud? <laughs> That's a seriously cool cloud. Okay, let's go to work. did mention that I edge with the weed eater upon occasion. This is one of those very occasions. When it rains out really good, um, I tend to edge with the weed eater because I don't want the blade pulling up mud. So I'll do a quick edge with the weed eater. And this is uh, how I do it.
somebody imply at one point that I didn't know how to edge with a leader? a little bit. show you exactly why I'm edging with the weed eater and not the edger blade if you look in this crack see all this mud and moisture if I was using the edger blade it would be mud everywhere so when it rains like this I like to use the, the weed eater to edge all this would be pure mud when I'm done edging so I'll edge that up with the weed eater and uh, get things cleared away. I'll show you the finished product, but let me put this up because it's starting to sprinkle. 
this camera is way too much money to get wet. So we're done. Yeah. You guys want to see the backyard? All right, let me clean off this uh, screen. The lens. Hopefully that's okay, huh? That would have been a muddy mess. And this is the Mercedes that he hit. That's where he hit it with the edger blade. Foolish child. There's the backyard. It's pretty wet. Pretty wet. Glad it rained quick and it got over with because we'll lose these yards fast uh, in the rain. There's nowhere for the water to go. It just sits there and just puddles up in the yard and then you come through. I mean, look at the sand. It's not even soil. Look at that. It's like, it's like beach sand. That the water will just sit there and it, it doesn't sink down so you lose your yards fast, man. You'll have six, eight inches of, well, you'll have two or three inches of standing water. Uh, ankle deep standing water that you're trying to mow on. And all these new yards are like this. They're all horrible. They're all built like shit. That's, uh, that's the way the builders do it, man. You pay $200,000 for a house and you spend $100,000 over the course of living there and freaking fertilizer and lime and trying to put blacktop down. I mean, it's ridiculous. I tell people you need to fertilize every three months. You need to put down your weed and feed in spring and fall. You need to put malorganite down the whole rest of the time. You don't really have much of a choice. That's my customer's house. All right, so this one's done. Um, let's go start the... Uh, it's four o'clock. Let's go start the three um, that I wasn't able to get done yesterday. Let's go do those. All right, so looks like we'll be able to mow this one with a little mower, which is good because although I've weeded it entire backyards before, I don't want to do that anymore uh, if I don't have to. It's too much strain on my back, and I still got we still got a pretty stellar day tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get this set up, and I'll let you guys. Uh, Watch me mow this backyard.
this one off and then we're going to start those two over there and we'll wrap things up. Alright guys, it's 6.20. We're done. We finished all our work today. Here's one, two, and then we did that one already. You watched me mow the backyard. Um, oh, just a little bit more information about like courtesy to your customers. When they come home, they got dogs to let out. So I did that backyard complete. I cut, we needed, and blew off the backyard and I shut and padlocked the gate because they unlocked the gate for me. Um, and then I shut and padlocked the gate. And then I started mowing these two yards here. You know, um, when he came home, <clears throat> he pulled in the driveway and oddly enough, I was uh, just finishing up weed eating. It took me right up here to the corner by his truck there. And he pulled in and I was like, hey, backyard's complete. You can go ahead and let your dog out, gate shut and lock. He was like, oh, great, thanks. Uh, you know just having a courtesy you know your customers you know their rhythm um, you know if they got two people that work you know or don't work I don't know if they come home for lunch I don't know what time they leave for work I don't know any of that I just know that they come home in the afternoons and if they're like me they let their dogs out if they came home an hour after they just went to the store they let their dogs out I mean that's what we do as dog people we always let our dogs out so I don't know what their system is. I assume they're at work, sun up to now. I don't know. I assume that. So I would say most people are, but 94 million people not participating in the labor force today. I, I don't know about that, but um, I I just want to make it so when they come home, they can let their dog out, and poor Fido's not sitting there waiting at the door, and because of my scheduling issues the dog couldn't go out you know what I'm saying so uh, or because of rain backing me up 45 minutes today so if rain didn't happen it's 625 right now so if it didn't rain then it would be um, you know 530 ish and that's not bad I can't complain that's that's a fine day I'll take it I'll take it all day long um, we're caught up we are hundred percent on schedule we are, we're two yards behind from where we were two weeks ago today, but that was because I decided to do these three yards tomorrow instead of doing them earlier in the week like we did. Um, I scheduled these three yards and I did them a day early. So um, I did them on this day, this day's job. Battery's dead. Damn it. All right. I'll have to pick this up in the house. It's going to die again. Uh, bye. Uh, battery's dead. Damn it. All right. I'll have to pick this up in the house. It's going to die again. Uh, bye. So, yeah. That's exactly right. The battery on the camera died um, on me. So, I wasn't able to finish my point. Uh, but, you know what? It's 1023 at night. And I'm done with editing the film. All the film's been edited now. I'm gonna throw this slide up, or this clip up. And then, I gotta go back and add all my music, add my Dan's Daily Vlog, little um, like watermark and stuff like that on the bottom right corner of the screen. Um, and that's about it. So I got about another 30 minutes to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. We'll start fresh tomorrow. We are on par to have a fantastic day. 12 lawns tomorrow gets us 55 lawns for the week. One man and a zero. And we are keeping up with two guys and a mower. Um, but I can tell you right now, I'm about 380 bucks ahead. 380 to 400 ahead uh, financially because of not paying labor. So we are kicking ass. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm too tired to play games. Please check the links below. Please donate to the charity or share the link to the charity. And please... Please check the, uh, the links I have to the different items that I use and stuff like that. That helps answer a lot of people's questions. I'm really, really tired. I'm dead dog tired. Uh, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow.